Phone Infoga is one of the most advanced tools to scan international phone numbers. It allows you to first gather basic information such as country, area, carrier, and line type. Then use various techniques to try to find the VOIP provider or identify the owner. It works with a collection of scanners that must be configured in order for the tool to be effective. Phone Infoga doesn't automate everything. It's just there to help investigating on phone numbers. But before we begin, I want to emphasize that Phone and Foga, like any powerful tool, should be used responsibly and ethically. It's important to respect privacy and only use this tool for legitimate purposes. Now go to the GitHub page of Phone and Foga and click on the documentation for the installation for this tool. You need to follow these two steps and commands. I already have it set up for me. Paste those two commands onto your terminal and it will install the tool for you. After that, just type Phone and Foga into your terminal and hit Enter to see if the tool is installed or not. As I mentioned earlier, it works with a collection of scanners that must be configured. As for this demo, I will not be setting up any scanners. You should, in case if you are doing a pen test and want to test an organization phone number. Now let's see how to scan a phone number with it. This is not a real phone number. These type of phone numbers are used for temporary OTP verification in some cases. So I think there should be no problem in showing the phone number since they are public verification and stuff. I don't think there is anything to explain. Everything seems to be self-explanatory. But if you are new and using terminal is not your go-to, then stick with me. I will be showing you the GUI version as well, which is very clean and easy to understand. Remember. It's not guaranteed that you scan a phone number and it will give you all the details. No. But instead, it looks for a lot of possible places if the number could be found. Now let's see the GUI version of this tool. And I am a typo, so I skipped. That's the default port for Phone and Foga. If you want, you can change it as well. As you can see, the GUI version is pretty self-explanatory. Let's do the same here. These are the scanners that we didn't set. That's why there is no result for them. Once again, these are a bunch of links. It's not necessary that every link will have the detail about the target. It depends on the target, so don't expect a lot of info if the phone number is a quite number. Also, that wraps the today's tutorial. If you find this tutorial valuable, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and a follow. Thanks.